Like, it's just my main concern is that she seems invincible in these situations. Well, that's kind of... I mean, I don't want to say things, but that's sort of the point of her character. Yeah. The point is that she's so clearly out of place. And, like, you know... She... she like, the, her whole character revolves around the... Oh, there's a play going. Revolves around the idea that she... Um, just barely always doesn't get caught you know mm. so she like that's the point of her design and stuff she's so very clearly like a deranged lunatic mm -hmm. right she, she's that she's very blunt in everything she does you know and yet despite all odds she still you know hasn't been caught mm. you know like she'll there'll be parts where i mean i don't want to spoil it but like this is my main problem that i have right now with cass is that everyone well, not everyone, you know some people are like they're calling out stuff of like what about this and what about that and most of the stuff that like people are, uh, that are commenting on I'm, I address like later on in like either the next oh, page okay. yeah. or later on in the chapter right mm. and I'm just like and I don't want to say anything because it's like spoilerous but it's like I've thought about a lot of stuff you know Yeah. but like it doesn't look like it because like you haven't read the rest of the chapter yet and it's like yeah. you know so it's like that's the I have that little internal struggle of just like you're just gonna have to bear with me here, you know. Let it play out, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, she's in the in the classroom, and everyone's like, "Well, how? Why haven't they noticed her?" It's like the literal next page, she gets in a fight with the teacher. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like she's not. Well, the first time she sits down, she draws attention to herself by not having a book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, you you just gotta <laughs> let it happen, you know. But lots of people are very quick to point out. I'm like, I, I don't know what to tell you. And it's like my one little, like, uh, you know. Like, uh, I had a comment last night on the Discord where someone was like, um, I don't understand how no one has noticed the blood. And um, uh, I haven't played this mini game yet because I just got the Pokemon, by the way. And, uh, you know, that, that she looks like a smelly homeless person. I'm like, well, because they haven't had a chance to yet, you know. Oh, it's in high school. Some people just look weird. That's the thing as well. Is like I feel like everyone's like like you. We're like, how come they haven't noticed that she looks weird? It's like, what do you? It's like if if you're in a real yeah. scenario, and you saw a weird looking person, like what do you? What, would you seriously call them out on it? Like I don't understand. Yeah. What am I doing? Did I just run into people? Oh, I jump on them. Okay. But um. The there were some people on, I think, I think it was just one person on the Discord who said that um, and maybe because I've, been, I've spent almost 10 years just on and off working on my comic yeah. and haven't really turned my attention in terms of comics to anything else yeah. um, that... Is this um, you talking? Um, or them? No, them. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I think that's what they suggest, well, that, because they were talking about how uh, they did animations on some platform for a while, and then they went away, did something else, and came back and were way better. Yeah, I and don't I know. If, I don't know if they were like comic makers. They were like working on different, uh, like three D animation. Yeah, well, I, I understand what they mean. Yeah, and it's just that um, with Hail Kane, it's got its own established law, so it makes it difficult to change the thing while I'm still making it. Yeah, yeah, but. And so I'm trying. To, I'm also trying to think of ways that I can just kind of re-establish it in a way, which I might do. Just do as the ten-year anniversary comic. That's just a way of re-establishing the status quo. Well, maybe not status quo. Just re-establishing um, the universe that the characters are in, and say, you know, this is where they are. This is what they're like. Yeah. Um, like that. A little like information sheet. I see, like, I see comic book creators on DeviantArt and stuff like that do that, where it's like, this is just like a little, like, sheet explaining... I haven't seen very many comic book creators. Because you're not looking for them. Yeah. See, I've, only, I've only seen... I've, I've joined all these different comics. groups and stuff like that. Yeah. That do different comics. I was in a group, but then I was taking way too long to post a... To post a single page, so... Oh. Did, I, did I do it? Did I fail? Wow, that was one of the best arcade performances ever. How do you know? You can't remember what you had for breakfast. You're also looking in the opposite direction. Yeah. Rextro came out. Memory coming back. Rextro had to delete some blocks. 
Well, I mean, that's what happens if you're disappointed. Feel free to try game again. This time, if friends beat high score, Rex Troy give another prize. Well, as long as you just give me I thought I'm going to voice it. Do friends want to play again? No. I don't know. I mean, I know that I get another page, but I don't, I don't know. Well, uh, he probably deleted the memories of how nobody showed up to his birthday party. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Yeah, he's kind of sad. Yes, I get it. Ugly. Anyway, so that's uh, this the comic book situation. It's like the thing is, is that with Cass, like, I I understand that like from other people's like I, the thing is, my mind is way ahead. Because you 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 see the whole thing. I see the whole thing. I I know every beat. I know everything. I know where it's all leading to. I know how it ends. I know like the rest of the chapter. I know everything that's going to happen. I know panels and stuff like that that'll mm. happen. Like that's one thing is like. A guy, I mean, once again, sort of spoilers, not really. Um, a guy was saying last night, like, oh, she's like, looks, she's like a smelly hobo or whatever. I'm like, well, or like a homeless person. I'm like, well, she does bathe. In mm. fact, there's actually literally a panel later on of her having a shower. Mm. And it's like, but you wouldn't know that. So I, I get, I get where you're coming from, but it's like, eh. mm. you know. Oh God, that, that's awkward. Where do I go? Oh, I tried to do that sort of that sort of uh, style of making um, comic stuff in Hurricane, where I made kind of uh, Hurricane 15, 16, 17 were all made at the same time. Yeah. And so um, <sighs> then I was getting like this this broad idea of where things were going, and that stopped me concentrating on specific comics. And so now I'm just concentrating on the next one that comes out. Yeah. And just not anything else. I, I got I have an idea of where things are gonna go, but I wanna focus on the here and now. That of, is in of the fair. story. Probably because I'm just not very good at uh, doing that thing that you're doing, the like the broad idea and making everything in advance. I can't help it. Because I tried it, but I don't know. The thing is is that I, I think about well, like I think it's good the though the way you do it because you you mm. uh, perfect it to the best of your ability and then you release it. Yeah. And that's what you've done with Cass, and I think that's really good because it comes out and um, it's got it's just got little things in it that make you go, oh, this is really well thought out. I like this. Yeah, there's a lot of tiny details that no one notices yeah. <laughs> that I throw in there. Like every fucking panel is filled with all this sh like this stuff. That, like just I love the Hurricane 17 reference uh, I think it was, it didn't say that it wasn't out at the time yeah it's like the next one <laughs> something like that I can't remember but like that was kind of the point is that they're, they're all like other things that we're working on mm. I see something over there it was like um edited chapter 1 Hurricane 17 <laughs> and Mary oh. and the Apocalypse yes yeah. Well, which we're not released at the time. <laughs> now one of them is. Yeah. Um, no, that's oh, what the I fuck? I had a really shitty semester like at uni and cranked out two comics at once. Not that it was it was, a partic it was particularly hard to make those comics and because I'd already done them in advance. They were all a year old by the time I released them. 16 and 17 I made in oh. 2016 when I released them in 2017. Yeah. I'm already part way through Hellcane 18. I just gotta. I'm just up to a stage where I have to start really thinking about how I'm going to do things because <coughs> it, it's very important the way I deliver it. Yes. And it's, it's mostly around relationships, which I'm not very good at because I don't understand it. <laughs> well, it's, mo it's mostly uh, boy girl relationships, is a thing that I, mean, I don't understand. I can try and help you out, but. Um... Yeah. My relationship status is not exactly that much better than yours. <laughs> but I've done a lot of research. Yeah. A lot of things. A lot of good writing techniques, which I think you might benefit from knowing as well. Yeah. Like, here's one that a lot of people keep asking me. I say a lot. That, that one guy on Discord. <laughs> like, well, there, is there going to be hentai? And I say, no, there's not going to be any hentai. But I was thinking, will there be a sex scene? And here's the thing, right? It then brought me thinking about like the, necess the, the, the necessity of it, you know? Mm. What does a sex scene even mean? Because here's one of the, a really, really, really good writing tip, which I was thinking about the other night, which 
it, it's one of those things where like you kind of brush it off you you like well of course but you don't like you really got to think about it sometimes which is that only ever show like only ever include anything if it means something right yeah. never put in random bullshit that means nothing you know what i mean yeah and but the thing about that is is that like it was like well of course but like but then you think well what about like you know just a conversation where two characters are just saying random bullshit to each other you yeah know? well that means something that scene probably signifies that those characters you know uh, that is a, a relationship building scene for those characters you know mm. what i mean mm. so like even though they're saying random bullshit i suppose um, that's um where establishing a character as a kid and then they grow up in the actual thing which was what i've done with hellcane and kj mm. is that you see him as a kid and how he interacts with his dad yeah and then as an adult he's making his own decisions and so yeah um, you know so that, when that he went to, when he went to prison and when he told his dad off and stuff like that. All that it all kind of links together and you've got this relationship, this relationship years old, made of uh, brief conversations and stuff like that. Yeah. Where, um, hmm. um. And then I and then I bring in a KJ's grandfather, so I got to start thinking about it. Um. KJ's dad isn't particularly important at this stage in things, but his grandfather's becoming more important as like a mentor. Mm. But also KJ goes to um, the superhero league to uh, learn about how to become a better superhero. And then that makes me think, why does he want to do that? And yeah. what does his grandfather think since his grandfather used to be in the superhero league? And then I start thinking about all these things of well, that's good. who cares... Um, is the main thing like wh which, what are the characters that I've already established do they think about what KJ is doing and how does that impact on the relationship well that's really good that's the kind of stuff you got to think about mm -hmm. there's a really great really really great way of putting it which is um, don't show a gun in the first act if you don't plan on using it by the third mm -hmm. have you ever heard that saying it's what it means yeah. it's like you can't just put in random bullshit yeah you know? it, everything's got to mean something mm -hmm. So I was thinking about things like, will I ever show Cass's real name? The answer is probably not, because it means nothing it's to the story. Better to not know it, really. Oh yeah, it, the, the, that's another thing. Is like the not knowing adds to the character, if anything. Yeah. And it's like, what would be the purpose of telling the name? Mm. There is none. So why would I do it? Well, that's, no that's, reason. That's one of my favorite things about it is that uh, her name isn't Cass. She took it from the first person she killed. That you see them killing in the story. Yeah. Did that surprise you at all? It did. Okay, good. I, there's this random girl, she's like, hi, and then, um, you see, um, what a cast did a thing. And that made me think, oh no, what's going on here? Um, but I think it was something like, oh, because the girl, she was so naive towards Cass. Yeah. She was like, oh, you must be a senior. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good. It's getting the effect across. Um...